Good morning. It's good to see you today. Thank you for joining us. Come on with us to Matthew chapter 15. Matthew 15, verses 10 and 11, the Lord says, Hear and understand. Not what goes into the mouth defiles a man, but what comes out of the mouth, this defiles a man. And the reason that it defiles a man, it's because out of the heart the mouth speaks. There is a problem that I wanted to speak about, and it's been going on for a long time. Um, it's probably since time began, but I wanted to talk about it. And the problem is when Christians act like the world. And where you see it happening today, at least one of the places, is, is online. I expect... When, when I, I expect when I post things to Facebook or when I, when I check Facebook, I expect the world to act worldly. I'm not surprised at it. I'm not taken aback by it. But what does surprise me is, is when Christians, when they, when they talk like the world, when they say things that are worldly, or when they like things that are worldly, or when they share things that are worldly, out of... The, the Lord says, what comes out of the mouth defiles a man. And, and I want to talk about some of the things that, that are coming out of people's mouths that we, we need to understand, we need to think about. And, the, and it's a simple lesson, but it's an important one, I think. One of the things that, that defiles a man is filthy language. Colossians 3 verse 8 talks specifically about filthy language and how it needs to be put away. There is such a thing as foul language, and, and Christians don't need to be engaging in it. In Ephesians chapter 5 at verse 4, it, it talks about foolish talking. And there's something to be said about that, that we should not be speaking as, as fools do. There's such a thing as foolish talking. There's also such a thing as idle words. The Lord says that for every idle word we, we utter, we're going to be judged. The word idle, it means inactive or empty. And the verse that talks about it is Matthew chapter 12 at verse 36. A fourth thing we might add to our list, you might consider James 1 at verse 20, where it says that the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Very often, whether we're talking about cursing or something else, it is very often tied together with the wrath of man. And it just shows that, that we are not serving the Lord like we need to, and it's not producing the Lord's righteousness. We need to cleanse all those things from our hearts, and if we'll cleanse them from our hearts, then we'll be cleansed, they'll be cleansed from our, our mouths as well. But, but we don't need to be saying them, and we don't need to be liking those things, and we don't need to be sharing those things, passing them on to others. Rather, how we need to use our mouths, because it's not enough to just wash our mouths out with soap, we need to fill our mouths up with righteousness. Think about the, the, the parable, or the, the verses about the demon possessed, the, the demon who leaves the house comes back and he finds it empty and he brings seven others. You have to fill the house with righteousness. So what should we be saying? Well, Scripture says, let your speech be with grace, seasoned with salt. That's, what we need. That's how we need to be using our mouths. We need to be full of the Lord's grace. We, we need to be speaking the Lord's grace. We need to be speaking words that edify, it is what we need to do. Yes, idols need torn down, but we need, we need to build we need to build the Lord's house. Let all things be done for edification. We need to be thankful to the Lord, of course. We need to continue on in prayer. Our speech needs to be redemptive. We need to be serving the Lord. What we should be and what our speech should be is different from the world. God bless you. Be a blessing to others. We hope to see you tomorrow morning.